Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and uh, this time I've got a how-to video on how to install or apply a Substratum theme. So uh, as per a request from a commenter, so let's get started. So guys, now that Lineage or Cyanogen mod theme engine has gone the way of the dinosaurs and is not available anymore, Substratum is the only one which we have which we can depend on for theming on our custom ROM. And it's not a bad thing, there are a lot more things you can do with Substratum which uh, you couldn't with Cyanogen mod theme engine, so I'm really liking that. It's really simple, it's kind of a no-brainer, but uh, there are a lot of people who did want this video, so it's for them. Let's get started on that one. First of all, prerequisites, you do need Substratum theme engine application, which is this one which is called yeah this is called substratum you do need this application a lot of people do not know this they just think that oms support means that the rom already has it it's it may not be the case for getting this you can just go to play store download substratum yeah just uh just install that if your rom has full oms support just go to there uh, to make sure that just go to the forum page it will be given there so just mend that with this thing installed you need a theme also installed like i have a few themes installed myself i got grace i've got pitch black which is my daily driver i have fix six is a re really great free theme which is really amazing a lot of people do use that i personally use uh, pitch black which is one of my favorite ones so first of all just go into substratum this is a fresh install of the rom so it will ask for permission so this you have to give permissions to use substratum so there is overview permission which is the main thing about it also storage that's also something which you need to do accept everything and you will be presented to the substratum engine now swipe and go to theme packs now here are the theme packs which i have installed these are the th stuff which i have deity is another theme which is amazing and it's really really comprehensive i'll be showing you guys how to do the pitch black theme click on the pitch black theme uh, engine or uh, the pack and you will be having the overlay manager tab in the overlay manager tab you can select what all you want themed so you do have add away you can enable that enabling it is just as simple as just clicking onto this and uh, just having that so there is also a toggle all over overlay which i normally use but on many themes like this one which is comprehensive there are different options which is available so make sure that you scroll through all of them and just make sure you want what you get so click on that so there is a few options for color and accent color so i'm going to select what i like the best so i'll be going for uh, pixel blue with matte black that's what i want enable or disable all caps this will depend on the theme which you're using it may not be the same ones apart from that let's see okay google this is you have a few options here so i want the new version uh, if you are having issues with that i will show you guys how to disable uh, overlays so that's another thing okay magic module i want the new one messages i want with colorful contact tiles apart from that okay there is pixel launcher i want the no gash version i have the no gash version so that's that thing system ui so i want dark solid dark translation i want dark solid that's pretty cool uh choose navbar so i want navbar to be white i don't personally use navbar but hey that's an option here system ui status bar i want square and not anything else whatsapp i want okay new official version so that is there youtube also i want the new version okay and all of them has been applied now you just have to click this one and click build and enable so that will now start installing the overlays this will make apk files and apply these overlays onto itself so that is the thing which you're going to do now another thing is that once you update your uh substratum theme or a theme engine maybe you might have an update uh, in coming times and there is an option to auto rebuild everything after an update i will show you guys the menu or option on that i normally keep it enabled but that can cause a few issues if you are having some version changes like google search that constantly get updated and that does tend to work out the substratum themes so for that there is a manual method also you can disable an overlay or just uninstall an overlay outright to just save yourself on that one 
So there you have it, that has been just installed, my overlays are installed now. It will do a system UI restart so that everything is applied correctly. I personally also do a full system restart because there are there will be some applications which is uh, open in the background which just doesn't plain work with this one so you also need to do that well, that's just my personal opinion as you can see there are there has been a few errors here so an error has occurred during overlay installation now personally I know what error this is um, this is for the uh, nougat launcher or the um, you may have different issues with that not really sure if i want to cover that it's it's just nothing there if it's not applying it will just won't apply so that's just it theme has been applied now so let me just show you guys how to apply a boot animation it's just similar there are two boot animations available in this one so you have pitch black it might show a uh, animation here but Sometimes it may not. Okay, pitch black is there. Just click the tick button and it will apply the uh, boot animation. Fun pack also, same thing. You just click whatever fun pack you need. And after applying anything, if you want to go back, just go to the same pack and go to fun pack and click on restore default fun. And that will restore to your normal fun. And I really like Oswald fun, which uh, I have been using for quite some time now. Just click the tick button and it should apply itself. You don't really need to do anything else with that. It's just that simple. So yeah, I just applied the font also and that works out really well. I don't really any, have any issues with that either. Now, the latest version of Substratum has this option where if an application is not running correctly, it will disable the overlay itself. So you don't really need to worry about that. But if you are having some issues with the overlay or colors are not correct, just go to the Substratum theme engine, swipe from the left and go to overlay list and select whatever you want to disable or uninstall. So for example, okay, my Google search is not working or Google search is not working as I want it to. So select that or find it out, select the tick button and uh, select disable selected or just uninstall selected if you don't want it to update itself. So if I disable selected, it will just disable that particular theme on that particular application works out really well this one was what i was talking about go to settings and in there you will find there are two options here which are uh, automatically update target overlays and opt automatically update theme overlays as you can see theme overlays is beta don't really want to do that if you're not very safe or if you're not, not if you don't want a few stability issues but again whenever an application gets updated this will make sure that your theme engine or substratum will reapply the uh, particular overlay over the theme so that it doesn't have any issues with the theme. So that's really cool. I normally keep the uh, update target overlays enabled because I really like that functionality. So that's it. That's uh, how you apply a substratum theme. Again, this is uh, applying the substratum theme on a ROM which supports full OMS. Now we have a ROM here without full OMS support. First thing, well, in a ROM without OMS support, don't hold your breath that every uh, substream theme will work on yours because there is no guarantee like that. It is using the legacy overlay manager or layers and that's how it gets it done. It's not really supported so don't think that it will work. But still, if you want to try it out, here is the way to do it. So first of all, whenever you open up Substratum, I have it all set up. Every time there will be a warning that legacy is given. Do remember that this ROM, whatever ROM you are using is in legacy mode. It will also show up here. So keep that in mind because if something borks up, you will have to go to recovery to replace or well change or restore your uh, theme so for that there are two methods which i will be covering let's just see what happens right now in this one this was the same theme which i used in my other rom and few things work uh status bar works status bar icon does work out it is working uh square which kind of does work out the third party application should work you shouldn't have any issues with that it's normally with Android systems when most things go haywire. So let's just keep something. Uh, okay, it is right now in dark red. So let's just install it. Now it will install the overlay and ask me to reboot the device. So it is asking me to reboot the device. I will be rebooting and showing you guys what is happening. So the device has booted up and here you have it. The status bar has been changed to the required substratum file. But let's just see what else is going on here, which um, 
uh, might surprise you or well if you have tried using it okay first thing is first uh, the VLT icon did not change that is something which should have changed with this one this this thing has changed according to the substratum but uh, not everything is good because I know for sure that there is supposed to be text here which is not visible it's supposed to be red and no that thing worked out it doesn't it does not work and I think any setting menu will not work so yeah everything is uh, gone even it within the settings menu now some themes may work it's not uh, final that all themes will not work with uh, OMS support and even the substratum theme engine or is not opening up so that is a big problem I mean substratum has given you an option here in at least in Google launcher that you can uh, long press it and there will be a rescue me option but in my opinion that does not work so what you need to do is restart the phone and yeah even the restart button restart menu is not coming up so I will have to switch switch off the phone and turn it on in recovery mode with this one so yeah recovery it should go into team win recovery then so once you are inside recovery you need to install or the rescue zip file so for that go into install go into okay normally whenever you select the storage you will be inside the SD card you have to find the substratum folder every time a substratum theme is installed or substratum you are making a change in substratum it writes a folder and it it, it does have log, uh, log characteristics reports and all that within this folder it also has these two files which is substratum rescue and substratum rescue legacy this is where what I told you about substratum legacy comes into mind where uh, this ROM does your substratum legacy so the theme you have installed was via substratum legacy so you will have to install this zip file which is substratum rescue legacy so just make sure that if you are using a device or ROM with full OMS support and you still work it up you can again come to this same folder and flash substratum rescue that is also an available option so for the for our reasons I'm going to flash substratum rescue legacy and just flash it now as you can see it is searching for mounting vendors and system partition and inside of that there will be overlays you can also go and uh, manually remove the overlays if you are keen on that but personally if you are having an issue with the substratum theme just remove the entire overlay and just start over that is your best bet right now you have your substratum legacy theme removed just wipe Dalvik cache and cache and reboot the system it should work now so let's just see so there you have it the phone has booted up you will have everything back to when you didn't have any themes installed this is how it is again this is not a full overview of substratum if you want that do leave it in the comments down below uh, that's going to be a much longer video I, I don't really want to bore you guys with that if you already know it doesn't really matter so yeah I guess that much is it about this video then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye